So the topology for your work is getting a little stretched. Not a problem. If you are running out of topology to sculpt with, control and left click drag into empty canvas to Dynamesh. If you go into geometry and Dynamesh, you will see the entire menu for this feature. Now 90% of the time, all you need to do is control how dense you want the new topology to be. It's normally set to 64, but if you increase it, you'll get a lot more poly. If you decrease it, you'll get a lot less. Groups mean it will separate different poly groups into different mesh islands. So if you have two poly groups on this sphere here, turn groups on and Dynamesh, it will look similar, but if you hold control shift and left click one of the groups, you will see it's turned into its own separate island. If you don't like that, turn groups off. Now if you are doing hard surface, you'll notice things get a little mushy when you Dynamesh. An easy way to keep sharp edges is just to turn project on before you Dynamesh. While project is on, if you want smooth, clean edges, increase blur, and if you want more mushy edges, decrease blur. Also while project is active, if you want the edges to have a lot of geometry, then increase sub projection. Otherwise if you don't want the edges to have a lot of geometry, then just decrease it. And if you want something that's kind of in between between, like you want it smooth but you still want to have some edges then try turning project off and just activate polish instead now something cool to note is Dynamesh will automatically fill holes and merge objects together so let's say we wanted to give this sphere some monster arms and we are gonna use our monster arm brush to drag in some awesome new arms now at the moment these two are separate objects but if we Dynamesh now if you look at the poly you can see that they have been merged into a single mesh from here you just polish by groups now you're ready to Z remesh for better topology and if you want, even polish by groups again to get even cleaner geometry. Sometimes you'll press Dynamesh and nothing will happen. If this is the case, just make a really tiny change to the mesh, like just smooth something really small with an intensity of one and try again. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.